Hey everyone, welcome back. And I'm sure you're a little shocked to see me do a video on makeup um, and with makeup on my skin because all my other videos have been bare skin, totally bare skin and washing my face. But this one I wanted to do with um, mineral powder and how you can create the look with a highlight, contour, foundation, only using powders. Um, and you also need a retractable kabuki brush. That's one of the key things actually. Um, so what are the benefits of using a mineral powder versus a liquid foundation or putting um, say an SPF lotion underneath your foundation? Um, there are quite a few reasons why and one of the main reasons is because minerals um, mineral anything, whether it's a powder or a foundation liquid, um, a mineral will use a different form of SPF. So they use uh, titanium and zinc. And what that does is or reflect the rays from actually penetrating through your makeup and to your skin, which then will result to, you know, loss of, uh, loss of collagen and loss of elasticity all those things that break down and cause aging over time. Using a mineral powder is, it's instant. Once you put it on, it's ready. You don't have to wait 30 minutes for it to actually absorb into your skin and for it to work. Now, another reason why people are using more mineral powders um, as a foundation versus liquid, one of the main things is healthier skin. So my skin has actually never been this healthy in a long time. Actually, never, because <laughs> I've had acne. I struggled with acne in high school. Um, I was on all sorts of medications from my dermatologist, from birth control to big, giant horse pills to help control my acne that I had to get my blood or kidney tested, one of them, like monthly, um, which actually my body rejected over time. They had me wean off of that and so when I was weaning off of it I had to go to one pill every day to half a pill every day, half a pill every other day, every three days till I was done and then my acne just flared up again. They put me back on it and I completely built up uh, an immunity to it. So I couldn't use it so I tried multiple kinds of birth control. Still had acne, but now that I've been using this regimen um, by my skincare line, my skin has never actually not only broken out, but felt soft, like soft to the touch. And I love it. I love it. Love touching my skin. Um, but anyways, so that is another reason why I use mineral peptides is because I really don't feel the need to cover up and use a liquid foundation anymore. And a lot of my clients are feeling the same way as well. So they go to a mineral powder or even nothing at all. But um, a good reason why to do the mineral powders is mainly the SPF that's in it and because of how it is an SPF and how it just reflects the sun rays from absorbing into your skin. But anyways, I will get to the video and I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like this video and heart it and um, subscribe if you are a YouTube user and be bare to your soul. See you soon. Bye. All right, let's get started. Hi. But first, coffee. I love coffee. I'll be using step three in the Soothe Regimen by Rodan and Fields as my primer, and I'll be applying that all over my skin. This product contains glycerin, so it's perfect as a primer. Up next, I'll be taking my retractable kabuki brush. As you can see, it's so fluffy and I will be extending it so that it's more dense to really pack on this mineral peptide by Rodan and Fields and shade light. I will be applying this in a triangle form underneath my eye area and then I'll be also applying it to my eyelid to help ensure my eyeshadow when I apply that.
with this technique, this is replacing any liquid concealer that I would have used in the past. And it works like a charm. Don't mind me, I'm just singing to my jams. I believe I was listening to some country music right now. <laughs> you might see me singing through this entire video on and off. Next, I'm taking my blending eyeshadow brush and Makeup Geeks, I believe Peach Smoothie. You can use any blending brush. I don't know the names of my brushes. I actually got my whole set on, um, I think it was Amazon, so it didn't, there was no name, essentially. <laughs> so each brush, I will just call it what it is. And then if you have it, you can just use what you have. I'm just doing the windshield wiper motion and I'm really blending this um, peach smoothie out. I love this shade. It's like a transition shade, but when I don't usually wear a lot of makeup, I will just use peach smoothie. It honestly is a gorgeous color by itself. Next, I'm taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and my eyeshadow brush that's flat. It's more flat and dense. No clue what the name of that would be. But if you have one, great. And I'm just packing it on to the outer portion of my eye. How you doing? <laughs> hey, can you tell I'm a Friends fan? I miss that show. Best show that ever aired. Let me just sing to you a little more. My jams. Next, I'm taking that same blending brush and I'm just really going back and forth and blending that in nice and good. Just speeding this up for you because I'm a little OCD when it comes to blending. Next, I'll be taking my flat, dense brush. Again, this is, I use this one for all my lighter shades. And I'm taking Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. And I'm just applying it to the inner portion of my eyelid just to make that inner eye pop a little more. You get the drift. I'll speed this up and sing to you guys a little more. Good thing I'm muted, huh? <laughs> Next up is Naked 2 palette and the black shade that's in there. And I'm taking a smudge brush that I have that came in my eyeshadow brush collection. And I'm just smudging the black on the outer corner of my eyelid just for a little drama. You can totally skip this step if you don't want to and just go straight to mascara. But I felt like I wanted to add a little sass to it. I actually changed my mind and brought it all the way in and now I'm just blending it all out with my blending brush again. All right, now that my eyeshadow is done, I will be retracting my Kabuki brush and going back to my mineral peptides in shade medium. This one I will be buffing out all over my face and I will be actually avoiding the triangle that I made as my concealer with shade light. I am so in love with this powder, guys, honestly. And coming from me, I have naturally oily skin and I don't have to touch this up one time during the day. It doesn't melt off my face. It sits perfectly. It just, just blends in gorgeous. I love it. And that speaks volumes for someone with oily skin, period. Now you can just wear this by itself. That's normally how I do it. But I also want to show you how easy it is to use all three colors to get um, that bronze sun-kissed glow. So I'll be taking my Kabuki brush again 
and extending it to get that dense and going back to shade light and now I will be highlighting. I apologize for the lighting. I was using uh, the natural sunlight and believe it or not at this time it was super sunny and the clouds I think were just starting to roll in and I kid you not an hour later we had snow and my car was outside sat outside for about 20 minutes at a parent teacher conference and I came back out to about two and a half inches of snow on my car drove home and it was as fast as that snow came in it was gone and the sun was shining again and my car was all melted that is so normal typical for Colorado life four seasons within like four hours <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Real Techniques um, sponge, and it's already damp. And I'm using the shade light again to just really ensure the highlight underneath my eye area. I love uh, these sponges. They are just gorgeous. Makes any look just look kind of gives it that airbrush finish. It's beautiful. As I'm finishing up this eye, I will be taking the mineral peptides again in shade bronze. And this is what I will use for my contour. Oh, here comes my little girl. Smooches! All right, back to the contour. So I'm gonna extend the brush again, get it more dense so that it can really pack on the contour and get it precisely where I want to place it. I'm going to be placing it underneath my cheekbones, my forehead, temples, uh, the sides of my nose, and my jawline. Again, this is just kind of the basics and to my specific face structure, so everyone else's preference will be different, and that's just fine. You do you and how you like to do it. I'm just kind of doing a quick run-through. This shade works as a contour. Next, I'll be retracting and buffing away all the harsh lines. I really want it to blend in and just look like a sun-kissed glow versus me painting all over my face. <laughs> Next, I'll be using um, NARS in shade Orgasm as my blush in my angled blush brush. I love this shade. It has been my ride or die for probably the last five or six years, if not longer. I Ever since I found this blush, I have been in love with it. It has little specks of um, gold shimmer to it, too, so it just really, I don't know, adds a little sheen. Next up is the Becca Cosmetics in Champagne Pop, and I am using this just to enunciate the highlight, just right by the eye. I'm going to go above my brow bone as well, just to reflect the light, and I don't know, I love this shade. It's so pretty, and it's made by your one and only Jaclyn Hill. She did a phenomenal job with this shade, and I'm applying it with my fan brush. Next is my Damp Beauty Blender again, or Real Techniques Sponge, and I'm taking the shade light again, and I'm just cleaning up um, underneath my contour and my blush where I applied it. And I cut it out, but I also um, went over my whole face, just pounced it around so that it, my whole makeup look had that sun or um, airbrush finish. Next is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I actually got this in the travel size to try it again. I've actually loved the Benefits Their Real Mascara for a long time. And last time I had the uh, Too Faced Mascara, it actually made my eyes water. So I'm trying it out again and I actually liked it. Now here is the complete look. It's pretty easy, simple, and not too much to it, but still adds a little sass to your everyday makeup routine.
I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and like my video and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.